So what if you could take a picture first and focus it later? Well, that's the promise of Lytro, an innovation in camera technology that could be revolutionary. Lytro unveiled its $400 and up camera today. It lets you focus on part of a picture after you've taken it, sharpening any blurry areas, highlighting forgotten subjects. How do they do it? Corey is out at Web 2.0 with the okay, answer. Corey? Yeah, Emily, fascinating times in, in innovation across all industries. This Web 2.0 conference has been a lot of discussion. It. Now, Lytra, uh, Renning, the CEO of Lytra, you've been working on this problem since you were at Stanford? Yeah, this is uh, the topic of my PhD dissertation, uh, Light Field Photography. And when I graduated, the, uh, my research became the technology foundation for Lytro. So today you guys introduced this camera. It looks like an old Kodak Brownie from, <laughs> for, for the, the old fans of Ethan the Kodak. Oh, the Kodak Brownie was much and larger. Avenue, and sold a lot, too. Um, what, what's the technological uh, possibility here that wasn't around before? Uh, the technology that uh, this whole company and product is based on is something called light field technology. This goes back to the mid-1990s at Stanford with two professors in computer graphics and it's become one of the most influential ideas in the field. So this camera, uh, we call it the Lytro, right. and I have one right here. Okay. This camera records the whole light field in every shot when you take the picture. It used to require a room full of cameras, so this was second generation system back at Stanford. And but is, now we've got it all the way down here. Is this thing only possible now because processing power is what it is, or is it about data storage is now capable in ways that it wasn't before? Many innovations. One was miniaturizing the optics from you know many uh, like a hundred cameras in a grid down to the single uh, camera was a new kind of sensor. So that's one part. The light field sensor within this camera is revolutionary. Then there's the brains of the camera, which is uh, the light field engine, software that turns the light field into pictures, right? right? And you need both of those into the body of a single camera at the same time. See, now, it seems like the big struggle for you will continue to be, just like, just like with the iPhone or anything else, more and more resolution, better and better resolution, more megapixels. Where are you at and where do you think you're going to be five years from now? Uh, this camera has uh, an 11 mega ray light field sensor. So light field sensors are completely different than regular sensors. Those are mega, uh, you know, measured with megapixels. But like the you image said. clarity is not near yet like a four megapixel camera, is it? Oh, uh, well, uh, you know, with a four megapixel or a 10 or 14 megapixel camera, that's a digital camera. Right. With a light field uh, sensor, it's really about mega rays. So this is an 11 mega ray, 11 million rays of light that it captures. From there, we compute to uh, a lot of pictures that are interactive. So these uh, living pictures that you can touch on to see what you want to focus on on the web or on mobile phones. And there, it's really sized at the resolution people need for wherever they're viewing it, if it's on their phones or through a web page. So really quick, there's about 30 seconds left. Yeah. Do you think this is gonna continue to evolve, kind of a Moore's Law kind of thing, where you get more and more clarity over time? Definitely. Megapixels have been tapped out for many, many years now. With mega rays, we're just at the beginning of a whole new beginning for, um, uh, for light field technology. All right, Renning, congratulations on the launch. Very interesting product, and it's, it's interesting to see what can happen with all these big data ideas and new ways to, to understand what they do.